Okay, boomer. <laughs> You have dukkha, you have frustration and It's about to get heavy, I just settle all my lawsuits Fuck you, Nancy! Yeah. This looks like a job for me So everybody, just follow me Cause we need little controversy Cause it feels so empty without me I said, this looks like a job for me So everybody, just follow me Cause we need little controversy Cause it feels so empty without me We are back live, Shotgun News, Shotgun News Jose, Jose, Jose. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, guys? How you guys doing? How you doing? How are you how was doing? Your, uh, how was your weekend, man? Good. Just the usual, I guess. Um, watch the Minnesota Vikings pound that ass. They got a win, and I was excited about that. And I'm so sorry about your Dolphins, good sir. That's <laughs> mm-hmm. nah, okay. I mean, kind of used to it by now. Uh, seems like... Uh, you know, someone in the chat, Big J doing things, is already talking about the Dolphins in there. Uh, sorry, we don't, we're, we're only going to spend a few seconds on football, we promise. But um, yeah, the Dolphins are sucking it up. And uh, like I said uh, right. last year or whenever the fuck it was that we traded or we uh, we got Tua, Taka Blue, 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 you know, um, in, uh, in, in the draft yeah. and we put him on the Dolphins. Uh, ever since then, I already told you it was a bad idea and he sucked and he was terrible. And, uh, you know, injury prone and all this other crap. And uh, here we are. You're, you're welcome. It's like, well, I don't know why no one listens to me, you know, like uh, about anything, like ever. I mean, look at me. Just look at me. Look at my glasses. Yeah, you have some cool. Look at my hat and look at what I'm drinking. All right. That should be enough. All right. So that people yeah. should recognize who I am and what I do. All right. And um, that the people should listen to me, but they just don't. I mean, right. I don't know. Shotgun News is live every Tuesday and Thursday night. 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. We're bringing you the news uh, about everything and anything. And That's right. And by the way, yeah. I stayed in a Holiday Inn last night. That's why I'm so smart. Because I stay in a Holiday Inn every night. Now, it happens to be the broom closet, okay? And this thing that looks like boba tea is actually uh, diarrhea with uh, chocolate malt balls, all right, that uh, I found in the dumpster, all right? So some right. guy left uh, um, a bag of Whoppers. You remember, you know, those whoppers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I just put them in here and, uh, and I, I shit in a cup and uh, now I got some boba tea. For anyone that's watching, you know, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you that are not watching because you can't afford a television, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That was good. That was good. All right, all right, all right. So we see uh, people coming in. Mr. Lodak, welcome in. Big J doing things. Also does not like Tua. Uh, but, I mean, the only thing I'll say about and um, about the Vikings, like, we are the the most lethal. And Jose can vouch for this because he watched a little of the game. We are a lethal one and two football team. Oh, yeah, I saw the, I saw the whole game. Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys are as lethal as it can get for one and two. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, you know, you're you're just as good as the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So we're in the same league. No, literally, we're both in the NFL. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, but we're but both yeah, in the I, same league. I am so sorry that your Dolphins, I mean, they really are going to suck. You guys got to go get a new quarterback or just accept the fact that you are going to suck for the rest of the season. Because uh, whoever you well, have, whoever you have playing for you, uh, not good. I think we'll be all right. You never know, man. I mean, so yeah, supposedly, the, supposedly Tua's first game back could possibly be against, take a guess. Um, who, who, the, the first game Buffalo, back. Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So literally, I think Tua's first game back is going to be against the, 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 the team that knocked him the fuck into fucking Thursday. All right. So, by the way, what, like, like, look at my character on screen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of something right now, and he always right. does this weird thing with his lips whenever I'm drinking. Watch. Oh yeah, because like the sensor, um, is is sensing that you're putting something in your mouth, and you have your mouth open. Yeah, every time that my mouth acts weird, it's really uh, because I'm eating an asshole. Because you're no, like, you're, the reality. It's, it's probably because you're like, like you're you're taking the joint in your hand and you're moving a little closer. <laughs> right, that's right. That's, that's exactly what I'm doing. Smoking that blunt. So, well, but yeah, breaking no, news, Jose. Breaking news. Breaking news. Break it. The government is going to shut down again. Oh yeah, when's that happening? They have to pass something by this Thursday, or it's done. I mean, it's going to be shut down. And, and, and I'm going to call out, because, uh, Jose, I think you, living oh, there. You already, you already know I got the answer, so yeah, let's go with your first. Before I start going on my rant, let's. Uh, let's... All right. Well, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Do you. Be sure it's safe. Do you, and I'm going to ask chat this too, live chat, okay? And then afterwards, I'll tell you who, who doesn't know. Oh, wait, let me just, I'll just say it like this. Joe Rogan on a, was on a podcast earlier today or it was yesterday or something. And he doesn't know who Joe Manchin is. Joe Manchin. I don't know who the fuck he is either, bro. Nor really? do I care. Well, I mean, you're in Mexico. I, I for, it's forgiven. And you're, that's I'm American, bro. Job. He's in Texas. He might as well be in Mexico. <laughs> okay. Opie, Big J doing things. Pedro, Mr. Lodak. You guys all know who Joe Manchin is? I mean, if you talk U.S. politics, do you not know who Joe... That's By the crazy, way, I, list... I can't believe you don't know who... By the way, I listened to that podcast, okay? Because Joe Rogan's actually getting good again. So I'm listening to this podcast. And uh, I listened to that. And the guy that he was interviewing told him who he was. And that was like a day ago. And uh, I still don't know. Nor do I care. Okay. He's... Um, if you're to believe everything that's going on... I don't. Yeah, Clay Howell goes, he's the closest Democrat to being a Republican. He's the reason. Oh, you mean like Trump? No, he's... Uh, what do you mean no? He's, you so know you Trump know was a the, Democrat, the Demo right? The, I'm gonna you don't run. know that he was a Democrat and he ran as a Republican because, well, you know, Hillary was, uh, you know... Well, remember, okay. Hillary told Trump way before he ran, he's like, hey, I'm going to be the Democratic nominee, so don't even think about it. Um, in fact, to the point where she stole the election from Bernie, remember? Um and so Trump is like, oh, yeah, bitch. Well, guess what? I'm going to run as a Republican. And the rest is history. No, actually, I heard that Bill Clinton has had many calls and had many calls with Donald Trump scoping out the platform that he actually ended up running on, which is weird. I never thought that. I mean, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, some could even say they're family and related and friends. Well, let me let me just. But you know what? Let's have... not let's not talk about facts or, or put out any evidence in this episode since uh, that's not what this is about. Right. Yes. Let's just, I, talk, I was just, uh, let me let's just, just talk crap. Let me just finish up. Meaning, let me just finish up the thing about Joe yes, Manchin. Yes, yes, so yes. you know how, and I'm going to say it very quickly because everybody out there who follows it knows Jose. There's 50 Democrat State. senators, <laughs> and then 51 is Kamala Harris when there's a 50-50 tie in the Senate. So when the Democrats want to pass a perch like a bill, they have to get the if it's a bill that only requires 51, a simple majority, they need to really? get all, I thought, they I thought they had had all 50. Majority. I thought they, they had a more majority. No, no. Only it's 50-50. It's really? I thought, it was, I, thought they had, I thought they had a majority. Interesting. Nope, 50-50, but then the tiebreaker is vice president. Yeah, so, yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, so the Democratic Party needs to be fully united, but they have um, Joe Manchin, who's a West Virginia Democrat, and he's he's basically a Republican. 
not really, but he's he's not on board with a lot of what Joe Biden does, and he's the reason that we're not going, um, I guess, even further and further into the Democratic agenda because he continually puts the brakes on it. And for Joe Rogan not to know that, it's this isn't your day job, this isn't my day job, but for Joe Rogan not to understand who Joe Manchin is, he's only on every Sunday program since Joe Biden got elected. Joe yeah, Manchin's but you know why? constantly <laughs> on Sunday programs and... Sure. and He's being interviewed. Yeah, but he's not a politician. Remember, he's just a podcaster like us. I don't think he should know it either. It doesn't mess up to him. It's up to us to know who he is if we care enough. But to me, you know, real quick, as to probably why I don't know, nor do I care, is because I actually know what how the system works, number one. And number two, I'm seeing how the system works right now. We're seeing it. We're both seeing it. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I'm saying we're both seeing it. And um, the, the next thing I'm about to say is something that you know, we all know, is that um, Joe Biden doesn't really give a fuck because he's just going out there and executive executive ordering out of, you know, the shit out of everything. So it doesn't, I mean, I get where certain things need to go to the House and the Senate, but for the most part, things that the agenda, NWO, whatever you want to call them, you know, a fucking deep state, whatever they want to push, you know, it's, it's enough with the... Uh, with what uh with joe with uh, with what it's enough with what the power joe biden has to do in executive work which again they write the thing out and they just get him to sign it and that's it so i mean to me that's why i kind of don't really give a shit because at the end of the day um all these people in politics are sold so i understand that you know because of this joe manchin guy i mean i didn't know who he was but i was pretty is. fucking sure that there was a probably at least a handful of democrats that were all blind Democrats, you know what I mean? And at the same time, even if there were a few people, you know, like the Joe Manchin guy, um, which again, I thought that there were already, I just didn't care to know who they are. Um, it doesn't matter because it's gonna offset um, because there's a bunch of Republicans, you get what I'm saying? They're already sold and they might as well be Democrats. And that that's enough, you know what I mean? Meaning, remember, they only need 51 votes, you know? So <clears throat> that's the thing. I think that at the end of the day, that's why it really kind of doesn't matter because they're going to do whatever they want anyway. Both parties are basically the same at this point, and they're just going to push through whatever they want, which they do and they have for the most part. Um, and, and the only thing they haven't pushed through on is anything that the people have pushed back on a lot. So, for example, remember the, the $600 <clears throat> that they were going to, you know, every $600 transaction they were going to start tracking and shit? Well, they went back on that. And they say, okay, we're not going to do that. We're just going to do $10,000 a transaction. And I'm thinking to myself, but wait a minute, that's already the law, isn't it? So you see, like, it's it's the whole thing is... I don't know, it's man. You game, didn't even bro. know it's a game, bro. Was, it's a game, bro. It's a game. Pick a lane, dude. I'm gonna have no, to, but it's have a game. Uh, yeah, the, political. What do you mean? What do you mean pick a lane? You can't... You're saying, hey, I don't know. I don't care who Joe Manchin is because it doesn't matter. It's basically your point. Well, then let's move on from the political sphere. Let's get no, out of no, here. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, like, I like the political <laughs> What's stuff. The we can point? Talk about What's that. the point? No, man. Like, because I'm point, giving dude? another perspective because I'm, I'm giving the perspective right, as man. to, because there's a lot of people like me out there, you know, Joe Rogan, for example, and others that don't know or care about um, Mr. Manchin. Well, let's not talk about it. That's all I'm saying. No, no, be, no. I'm telling you why, because they, we, I, we care about other things um, in, in the political system that, that are actually... I don't know. I feel like they're affecting things more than this. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. That's why we're talking about this. So you can explain more as to, because I hear Joe Manchin. I hear that name a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I do. So I wouldn't, you know, maybe you can school me a little bit more, teach me, teach us, you know, for, in fact, what does the audience think? Do they know who he is or? No, I was reading through it. Pedro knows who he is. No, 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 no. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, you can have, you can Clay, put a poll. Clay Howell you, know, knows you, can, you can do a poll in the chat, right? You know that on your end. Do a uh, quick, uh, quick, quick poll. You know how to do it, right? Or no? No, I don't think so. I, I've never. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go to the, go to the the page, the streaming page. You follow me? Mm, come. <clears throat> the, you know where the stream is. Hold on. Let me. I'll send me a second. You gotta go to the actual feed. The one that everyone's watching. Go to there, and then there you can do it. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Would you like some bubble tea? Here, have some bubble tea. Oh. Have a little bit. Have a I little. Mean, have a little. Have a little bit of my bubble tea. And I uh, milked it myself. This is my milk. This is uh, I, the milk inside this bubble tea is 
comes from my body. I already discussed what part of the body it came from earlier in the show. If you guys still don't know, you guys can take a, a guess. Very nasty. So nasty, it's left Tim speechless. That's not, that's not. <clears throat> but yeah, don't, dude. <clears throat> I would like to hear more about the whole Joe Manchin thing because, like, again, <clears throat> I was under the impression that there was a lot of politicians on the Democrat side, not a lot, not a lot, but at least like four or five that were like Joe Manchin. In fact, There's isn't two. Tulsi Gabbard a, a, a Democrat? And this, I don't know if she's a senator at that. She's, or not, she in she's, the house. Not, she's not even a politician anymore. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I figured that there was a, a Pedro few goes, people. five people here. No need to run a poll. That's true. <laughs> well, no one's voting. I'm not running it yet. Besides, man, running a poll, he doesn't know. He doesn't, you don't know. You don't know about these things, Pedro, man. This is from back in the day, bro. See, we used to follow one of the best fucking youtube live streamers in the history of youtube live streamers and uh he used to run polls all the time in fact you know he, he brought us things like rockets and cheese it's a great guy oh i got a sound bite for him now, now he's yeah, women now, yeah now he's oh, here, uh, here, here he is you guys don't even understand bro that's right 100 percent. three votes everybody did not know who joe manchin was before today so we just educated you guys. See? If anybody... so why are you getting mad at me, bro? Why are you fucking getting mad at me? No, it's because... That means you're getting mad at everybody, bro. All right? No, no, no. I'm saying you're, you're, like, you're making the assumption that as soon as you don't know who Joe Manchin is, you just suddenly realize, like, oh, and he doesn't matter because I already have it all figured out. No, I don't, no, I don't no. need to know who Joe Manchin is <laughs> because... No, I'm just saying that not, only, for, not, know, like, no, not only do I not know, but no one knows and therefore no one gives a shit. No, but it's not that. Well, like, I you guys are me. not very educated on what makes... Like, I'm serious, dude. If you don't believe that that makes a difference of what Joe Manchin is doing makes a difference... Oh, no, it does. It does. It does. I'm but not like, saying like, that he's going to save the fucking republic. Nobody's yeah. going to save this republic. Agreed. But if you don't think that it's going to make a difference, he's literally potentially holding capitalism in his palm right now because I think if... The Democrats did not have Joe Manchin. If, if he was just going to vote with whatever they said, we would have the full Green New Deal. We might have a federal mm -hmm. jobs program. We're not going to have a federal jobs program. It's, there's it no guarantee. Totally there, there could be a federal guaranteed housing, federalized guaranteed jobs, federalized uh, fully paid for college education, like university, okay. like four-year university. Uh, let me continue. Four-year <laughs> university education. And oh, that's about it. I mean, there's a couple more, but I'm just off the top of my no, head. No, no, but yeah, Those but there's the whole, items the are whole huge. Agenda. That he's he's stopping the bureaucracy from growing that much more. So he does. Yeah, yeah. he's basically putting a brakes to the whole democratic, socialist, communist agenda. At least, and, and to me, yeah, to me, it's like this, man. I, I like look again. You, you, I guess you weren't listening to to what I was saying, but again, I, I don't know Joe Manchin. Um, specifically, you know what I mean? Like literally, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't care who he is or know who he is per se, but it was only because I was under the impression that there were many people like Joe Manchin, like there's five people. I just didn't know them by name. I don't know anyone by name except like three people, you know? Um, but he's, he was he, like, now I know that he is one of those politicians, you know what I mean? But there was a few people within the democratic party that wasn't straight going with the whole democratic agenda just like on the republican party there's a bunch of people that are not going straight with the republican agenda and and you know that's all and so that's all i was saying and hey, so to me you, it's uh... like I get into the minutia hold on i wasn't getting into the minutia as to who these people exactly were in fact again i thought tulsi gabbard was still one of them but apparently no and now i know who joe manchin is so basically he's a democrat saying hey i'm i'm a i'm a lefty not a communist you know what I mean, nice, I'm, I'm a uh, yeah. nice emoji coming from D Live, Otter Rock. Look, it's Pepe and he's shaking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, he's it. got a moving emoji on the screen. You can look at it right here. Nice. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of those in Otto Rocks. Auto Rocks. Auto Rocks. That's a nice emoji. Auto I bet, Rocks. see, I bet Otto Rocks, he, he knows who Joe, hey, Otto Rocks, do you know who Joe Manchin is? My God. You know who Joe Manchin is? I'm sure, yeah, he does. Wait, dude, you got a lot of Pepe's. He says he got oh, lots of peeps. 
Look at that. No, he's more Pepe's. Pepe's. A lot of Pepe's. Look at that. You should, yeah, man. You should show him some of your yeah, look Pepe's. At that. Auto Rocks. He knows who Joe Manchin is. See? Do you know who Cinema is? By the way, by the way, him having those Pepe emojis um, and knowing who Joe Manchin is does not surprise me. Why? Because he's clearly highly educated. I mean, look at, he's clearly. Uh, oh, cultured. because of course, if he has, if he has the Pepe's, that means that he has to be um a q fanatic right or <laughs> oh pepe's are all over discord i know i know I, I, I we have them too i'm a fan i'm a fan of pepe i'll just fuck right around. now here's the truth though no see he uh, goes look, he goes no not sure i think he was saying yes he has more pepe's um but no he's not sure who joe mansion is no, he was, oh <laughs> no, he, was, he was saying he he knows joe mansion he doesn't know who cinema is and that's the, i mean look cinema by the way how do you spell mansion is is it like how clay is spelling it uh, might be with a C-H-I-N. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, that was spelled like a, like a, like how you spell mansion. Like, you know, like where I live, I live in a mansion. And no, I no, thought no, that's no. how you spelled spell it. like Otter Rocks just spelled it. But let me elaborate on something here. Man chin. Yep. Like he likes to take it on his man chin. Yeah, let me elaborate on this though, because you might be correct <laughs> where if the dem like you say, hey, I didn't know oh, exactly I didn't know exactly who it was, but there's going there was somebody in the Democratic Party, just like how there was somebody in the Republican Party who strays away from the agenda so that really the machine rolls on and nothing really changes. It doesn't matter if it's a populist Republican or like, let's say whatever, there's always somebody, a defector. And that's potentially true. Maybe Joe Manchin really doesn't matter because if it wasn't Joe Manchin, it would be cinema. If it wasn't cinema, it would be heck Amy Klobuchar. It could be, it could be any of them. It just, if they need someone, they'll get someone. Now, in this case, I'm all for it because I don't, I don't want an expansion of the government bureaucracy going and making, I don't know, all of that stuff I talked about before part of the government. So I'm cool with uh, Joe Manchin defecting, but I, I will caveat that whole argument by saying maybe you're right. Maybe Joe Manchin doesn't matter because if it wasn't him, be another person. We don't know yeah, that. I mean, we don't know. Yeah, can't say. yeah. So to me, to, no. Well, I mean, to me, it's because I already seen this movie many times, and so that's why. I mean, so that's why I don't get that deep into the minutia. You know what I mean? Of like, you know, knowing Joe Manchin, knowing exactly where Tulsi Gabbard is right now, knowing all you know these 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 things. You know what I mean? Like for example, it's like let's just because this is sports, man. And again, I like sports, but I used to be hardcore into the sport of politics. And so I used to know all these things like you, but you know, it got to the point where now I just don't care. Now I still like the game. So I'll watch the game. And maybe if I keep watching, you know what I mean? On a regular basis, I'll know more of these players, you know, that are playing in the league at the moment. I already know a bunch of well, new here, ones, here, you know, and, and like AOC, AOC is a, is a breakout athlete, you know, in this league. Um, same as this Joe Manchin kind of guy, you know, he seems to be throwing a bunch of TDs out there, um, right? Lighting it up. So, I mean, yeah, you know, I'm starting to get to know a bunch of these new guys, just like, again, the like, same thing with football. I have stopped watching football for fuck over a couple, a decade and a half. And now that the Dolphins were, <clears throat> I don't know, supposed to be good, I started watching again and started getting a little reassociated with, uh, with the players. Now, I could, at any moment, still watch any football game, not knowing the players and still enjoy the game. And same thing with the politics. You know, I get at any moment, literally look at what's going on, enjoy, you know what I mean? What's going on? Because I, I see it now like as a spectator and I'm not on either team. I'm just, you know, just watching it as a spectator. You know what I mean? Like if you're watching the Browns and uh, like we're watching the Browns in Kansas City, they're both very good teams, but we don't have allegiance to either. So we really don't care who wins. You feel me? Um, and, and, and we're just a good game. We just, all we want is to see a good game. You get what I'm saying? And that's it. You know what I mean? That, that's that's kind of like, I, mean, I look I, at I, politics now. The problem is, is like, if you're investing in American assets, then you are gambling on the game. So it's not just, oh, I don't yeah, want to yeah. see so a you gotta keep game. an eye on the game. I want to see. I want to yeah, see you a... got to keep an eye. Yeah, no, no, I agree with you. So you got to keep an eye on the game. So right. if you think that let's say the Browns are going to win, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that would probably be helpful in your investment going forward. So yeah, I mean, I totally agree. Yeah. Okay. Let's cover the news article here. It says Democrats. Okay. This is just like tonight. This is one hour ago. Um, okay. Democrats. Is this a new article or is this the same thing? No, brand new one hour old. I mean, this okay, is so a new, so this, new story, new story. Yeah. This beep, so beep, it's, beep, it's, beep, still, it's still about the shutdown. Um, but the Democrats. Uh, so right now with mansion, saying he's not going to pass the extra progressive bill. He's only willing to pass an extension of the budget. So 
so that the government doesn't shut down on Thursday. And that's that's what that's what's going to end up happening. Well, and the progressives like AOC and Bernie Sanders are saying no, there is no compromise, and they're standing up probably because they got enough shit from like people like Jimmy Dore or whoever, and they're saying no, we've already compromised enough. We have to pass yeah. this, whatever. But okay, so right now, right now, okay, basically Joe Manchin with basically everyone out. By the way, so let me give you a quick thing on the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling is something that happens all the time and they got to raise it all the time and that's it i can give more details if you want but that's basically all you need to understand and whenever they have a government shutdown is because there's some sort of bullshit you know what i mean that they're trying to get through in an impasse and um and, and again then they use this as an excuse you know what i mean okay we're going to shut the government down now if you don't pass this y xyz so now with going forward I, uh, most of the time, 95% of the time, they pass it and don't shut the government down. Um, so right now, I mean, it could go either way. Remember, we're living in crazy clown world right now. But I think that, you know, it, it, honestly, they'll probably give in and just keep, you know, you know, not shut the government let's down. See, let's see, dude. Because have, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. We don't need no, to, real quick. Hold on. Let me finish the time. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. What were you saying? What? I said we don't need to guess. Let's see, what the, let's see what's going on here. Oh, no, no, no. Well, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, this is a breaking story. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, no, but this is not, I mean, again, this is, well, I mean, this is what this is going to say was what I was going to say anyway, but real quick, let me just what? finish the thought. No, no, hold on, hold on. Because again, what this article is basically saying, hey, Joe Manchin says, look, we just got to, you know, move forward on the debt ceiling like we always do and get all this bullshit off the table. But people like AOC and all these other crazy liberals are saying, no, we got to pass all this other shit through at the same time which again they don't have anything to do with each other they're just holding the nation hostage so what's going to happen right now most likely um but anyway, we don't know until it actually happens but most likely do not be surprised if the democrats actually do shut down the government in order to pass whatever the whatever bullshit they're trying to pass right, here let's see. now let's you see. get what i'm saying let's see how the people let's see how the people are going to react to that if that were to happen now whether they're going to do it or not i sincerely doubt it but i don't know man they're just so clown world clowny well i mean i don't know they just it does not surprise would not surprise me if they shut it down Bruh. sorry I'll, go ahead man all right go ahead. this is a one hour ago and this is actively happening it's happening thursday well now so now it's two people. hours ago because i was doing my rant right an hour <laughs> yeah it might even be last week <laughs> all right democrats back off the debt fight to stop a shutdown unliking uh unlinking the two issues will help the majority party prevent a government funding lapse this week but democrat leaders are still scrambling for a plan to head off the u.s debt default and i don't know who this is but uh, some purple haired democrat it looks like the goal is not to shut down the government, House Appropriations Chair Rosa DeLauro said. We can't shut the government down, so we'll see where the Senate goes and where we go from there. Okay, the Senate is expected to vote as early as Wednesday, that's tomorrow, on a revamped spending bill that would forestall a government shutdown at the end of the week after Democrats ditched action on the debt limit amid staunch Republican resistance. The standalone continuing resolution comes after the Senate Republicans refused to fast track a package on Tuesday that pairs the government spending with a suspension of the debt ceiling through the midterms next year. Yeah, they, the, why would the GOP pass that? I mean, that didn't make any sense. They're the resistance party, and I guarantee you any resistance party wouldn't uh, be... Uh, basically, they were... Oh, no. Well, because they were again... They placing in like... Um, Here's what they were doing, Jose. The government's on a contract of how much money it can spend, technically. And they have to lift it up. And what they were trying to do, the Democrats were trying to extend the debt. Um, the, the debt. Uh, no, they wanted ceiling. to eliminate the debt altogether. Well, they like were trying, to, ex yeah, they were trying to extend the debt ceiling, ceiling and um, come up with a <clears> continuing <throat> resolution that basically made it so that it didn't have to be addressed until a certain time, as opposed to like an actual uh, dollar amount, I believe. But oh, I could be wrong. But several GOP senators uh, had said that they would support a bill to prevent a shutdown and to deliver disaster aid to the storm battle states as long as the package does not lift the cap on how much the government can borrow. So the Democrats were trying to... Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. By the right. way, I agree with that. Look, first of all, I'm not a debt ceiling fan, but this is all the, the only... This is what the debt ceiling is. 
The debt ceiling is just a budget for the government for the year. And every year, you know, just like every other company, you know, you, you know, you do your budget again and you got to, you know, um, reassess the budget. The thing is, is since we're always printing money into oblivion and we have so many things on our books, you know, uh, debt wise, the debt ceiling has to always be pushed up. Always, 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 always. In fact, it has never, ever, 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 ever stood still or um, not been right, pushed up. You get what? Or you're yes. pushed down. It's always been pushed up. So with that being said, every time that this happens under every single presidency, they always have to push it up. And when they don't push it up, again, because pushing it up is just basically just signing a, a thing that says you got to push it up. That's it. And we're going to push it up by this amount. That's it. And it's always kind of the same but thing. The, the, but, the so, Democrats... but, but what happens is in certain moments, like what we're happening, what's going on now is that they're holding that, um, that, in, that situation hostage and saying, oh, you got to pass these insane things, whatever the fuck they are at the time. Um, if not, we're going to hold the nation hostage. Here's we're what it's like, Jose. Everything. Here's what it's like. Here's what it's like. The Democrats not only want to continue to spend and just lift the ceiling so they can continue the regular budget. They want to eliminate they want, the they, ceiling. No, they, want, they want to increase government spending in the same thing. They're saying, hey, let's not only do a continuation of what's already been planned and what we're currently sustaining. We're going to have to lift the ceiling to allow that. They're saying, um, you know, we're going to also increase spending, kind of like how a Pepe would sit on a toilet and just shoot the spending up to the moon, you know? So Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Doing. I mean... The thing is, it's like this. I mean, that's already obvious. You know, ba basically raising the ceiling is, again, raising the okay. amount of money, the budget, and raising the budget. That's all yeah. it is. And so that, that uh, the other thing that you said is, again, is, is obvious because obviously by raising the budget, well, they're going to spend more. But, what again, what you were saying is that they want to spend so much more Again, going over that budget that they're going to, you know, put that they said, you know what, let's eliminate the whole ceiling, you know, period in the store. You know what, because we're planning on printing into oblivion. So just get rid of the whole fucking thing so that we can just really freely print into oblivion. And I don't we think never have to discuss this ever again. Right. Which is to, kind of to be fair, to be fair, I don't think they want to eliminate the whole thing. They just want to. I don't I don't like maybe long term they do but i believe they just want to increase the planned spending and put basically an unlimited like we can spend 3.2 trillion dollars more than we otherwise could have yeah this year and then they're going to push through their regular program so they're trying to basically get a a credit card to spend for the rest of the year but that's they want but that's, this yeah, yeah, uh, but, additional funds so that they can afford but, their stuff but yeah yeah basically what you're saying is that they want to earmark the money before it's even printed i mean that's all you're saying I before mean, there's even a purpose for it yeah right right they... right and so yeah. yeah and the thing is is again like I, like i was saying they, they do this i don't know how many years i think it's every year that they do this year. so this is something that they do every year and every year they have to raise it they just have to raise it there's no other you know what i mean that's it there's well, because, no other direction we continue, yeah because obviously we're a we're broke. I mean, right. And so that's the thing. And so, but the thing is that usually that money is not earmarked before it's even, you know what I mean? Oh, no. And, and why would yeah. the, do you think the yeah. Democrats would allow the Republic? Like they just wouldn't do it. So no, I mean, of obviously. course not. And that's why they're, that's why they're fighting. And so the Democrats now are, they're the ones that are holding the government hostage and saying, and, and then, and on top of that, because they want to sign a bunch of other crazy shit, they're trying to put it all together into the same package, which again, the debt ceiling and all that shit is one thing. And then all the other green new deal and all this other stupid shit is another thing, but they're trying to do it all together. So that guess what, you know, you, you know, you're forced, you know, you're kind of held hostage, you know, to fucking do it. And, uh, yeah. So, and by the way, oh, by the way, you know what I just thought of right now, which I have to say this. I just thought of this right now. I don't, they're not going to shut it down. In fact, I, I will bet a thousand dollars they won't shut it down. I could be wrong, but I don't think they're going to shut it down. You know why? Because the other day, I think yesterday, I think today, I think today, New York. Yeah, th this New is York. today. No, yeah, today, New York said that any nurse or any um, medical employee, anyone in the medical field that is not vaccinated will be fired tonight and midnight. And they will re they will be replaced by government employees, government agents, or you know the military. So therefore, if they don't raise the debt ceiling, well, that's not going to be able to fall, you know that's not going to be able to fall through, you know go through. I mean go through. So therefore, I don't think I think they're going to just raise it. And all this is just you know scare tactics, same as it always was. Some years you barely hear about the debt ceiling. Some years it's like this. But at the end of the day, it's very rare for them to you know, shut the government down. And if they shut the government down and they do the New York thing at the same time, which they are, 
I don't know what to say, except Hong Kong, Hong Kong, you know, we're in clown world. I mean, I mean, this cannot get any more clowning. All right, all right, all right. right. Continue here. Let's see. I mean, it is about to happen, guys. I mean, you know, yeah. Let's just. I know you don't want to hear this stuff. I know you're. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 we miss oh, Trump. Yeah, I, dude, I we am, want to win. I we cannot want to win. wait. I we can't believe that my park, my local park employees are going to have to be furloughed. They're going to have to be what? Furloughed? Furloughed. They'll be fine. You know what a furlough is? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So that's going to stop all those government checks. That's going to stop everything. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man, you know what? No, I don't think. It's I don't even impact. know. I don't even know it's what to bet anymore. I, I feel like I feel like it's like it's almost impossible to even guess anymore as to what's going on because everything's just so so beyond the random. It's just like I don't I don't know. It's just I just look got at this the like um all the my boba all, tea. let's let's move on from the story and we'll get into the other stories of the night. But like the propaganda is so strong. Look at this like C-SPAN right now. They're saying yeah, yeah. oh Republicans block the Democrats move to raise the debt limit by a simple majority. No, they don't. No, they didn't. We just read what their proposal was, they, which was they, to raise they, the debt They ceiling. dropped. Yeah. Yes, I guess they just refused. They just refused to sign on to the crazy whatever Green New increase. Deal or whatever. No, they, yeah, they were. They refused to sign on to a simple continuation that also was an increase. So I guess you know, in a way, what they're saying is true. But I mean, it's just uh, no, no, no limit by simple major. No, read the article. I mean, I'm sure I if you am. click on it, it'll fucking tell you. No, man, that you know, no, they're not reading it right now. Listen. You know, meaning that their simple majority was able to block it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, see, there's nothing. To, well, there's no words. Yeah, there's no words. Oh, God. What yeah, is that, bro? Yeah, just, just, a, me. just a God headline. Damn it. I want to punch the screen right now, bro. God, I yeah, hate just... these things, bro. I hate these fucking. They don't even know. This is how bad it's gone. They know that people don't even click on this shit. They just read the headline and move on. God damn it. Yep. Former GOP Treasury Secretary trying to fuse the debt Okay, what debt ceiling was? Let's just read the, the thing, okay? U.S. government will run out of money by October 8th. That's a headline. Everything you need to know about the debt ceiling. Nope. Dems look for a path forward on the debt ceiling. Oh, Way dude, you know what, bro? This could be a little bit of fucking payback in the sense of, like, imagine all the baby boomers out there that are Republicans, all the old people that are retired, and now they're probably going to miss a Social Security check because of some shit like and this. They're the ones that, dude, they're the ones that voted for uh, Biden, so. Not, I mean, not, well, the ones that yeah, voted no, for they Biden, are. they'll be, yeah, the, 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 the ones that voted for Biden, they, they deserve it, and they'll eat it. They'll, you know what I mean? You know, they're going to fucking, you know, uh, they're going to eat it. They're going to say that it's totally worth it, you know? Um, but no, dude, how many fucking, uh, you know, I know a lot of, I know more people that are, most old people that I know voted for Trump. In fact, almost all the old people I know voted for Trump. It's only a handful that are no, I, I hope a lot of, I think it's like a, a lot of housewives in the suburbs, white women, housewives, I think they went for Biden. Okay. And they'll, you know, they deserve what they get. Mm-hmm. In fact, they deserve it more than anybody who voted for Trump. So, in fact, I hope that all the Trump voters do extremely well under the Biden government. And despite what the Biden government is doing, and I hope all the Biden voters uh, suffer so much so that they don't do that again. <laughs> all I know, all I know is that I like my hairy legs to be touched and felt underwater. I, I'm just being honest. I don't like, know when I'm in a pool. I like to want to touch yeah. my hairy legs. Dr. Jeff underscore B, welcome in. Nice gift, bro. Or a nice uh, comment with a little emote. Thank you. Hairy legs. I don't know. What? I guess it's a little bit mean. I'll take it back. I don't hope for pain, but at the same time, if anybody deserves to be punished by the Biden presidency, it's certainly... No Biden. pain, no gain. Listen, no pain, no gain. How else are they going to fucking learn? No. Hey, some people are so stubborn, you know, they need communism for like 80 to 100 years until they fucking learn, okay? Um, you know, so they, they want, right? So people want, right? Yeah, you either learn it now or you send the whole civilization into uh, Down the communism. So, That's right. I mean, I mean, look at really, California. I'm, they, I'm, they voted for this fucking piece of shit again. Right. I'm looking out for your children. That's right. Wait, you or, or no? Your, I mean, me hoping pa- me hoping pain on them is really me watching out for their children better than they can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm just uh, a caring individual. So yeah, you know, these people, yeah, but most of these people, they don't think of things like that because they don't have children themselves and they don't think that, uh, 
they're ever going to have children and this world is not for that and all that other shit. So, you know, they're very nihilistic and, and all that bullshit. So, you know, that's why they act the way they do. I mean, we talked about this before, you know, basically all these people, you know, people that have a job and have a life and have a family, you know, to take care of and support, you know, they ain't got time for any of this shit. You know what I mean? The only people that, that are doing a lot of these people, a lot of these things are the ones that look like me and have a lot of time to do nothing. The ones that look like me right now, bring a bulb of tea with a fucking fried <laughs> yeah, egg on your say. head and the fucking Miami glasses. Okay. All right. That when they, when someone looks like this, you already know where their priorities are in the bulb of tea, where it should be. Bruh. Actually, you know what this is? This is actually a chai boba tea infusion. Nice. You like that, huh? Hey, by the way, if you guys didn't realize we did I mean, go follow the Twitch because we are, we did our first um, combined gaming stream over the weekend. Go to Shaka News, all one word on Twitch, and you'll see we were live on Sunday at around 11.30. Oh, man, you know, we fucked up. We should have downloaded at least one of those games so we could show it in the background. You know, downloaded uh, one of the games that we played. Yeah, that's true, but... I'm still fixing the you, frames per second. So let me. In fact, we still got time on the podcast. You want me to see if I can download one of the games and and see if we can play it in the background? Or uh, no? sure, if you want to work on that in the background, just don't let it, uh, you know, impact the show. Actually, at all. you know what? I can't do that. I forgot because I got to log into the game. Bruh. Oh yeah, and I can't do that yet. We got to get the premium account. We're we're still under the free trial. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, for bro. Yeah. <laughs> It's using, I'm using these uh, these fucking uh, prepaid debit cards, okay, that uh, I stole from Walmart. <laughs> hey, by the way, I was at the gas station last, I think it was... Friday. Oh, yeah, so did the prepaid uh, cards that I gave you work or no? No, but I was at the gas station <laughs> last Friday, and I'm waiting in line. And by the way, thanks for asking everybody. I know you were super concerned because I had COVID last week, and... Oh, that's right. You got COVID. And then oh, I'm you, feeling you're... fully better now. So I'm, you know, Tyrone blew out your back. Yeah. My back was completely uh, blown out. <laughs> like, you know, I was like walking around with my, like, you know, I was walking dude. around all day with my hand, like framed in the middle of my back. And I was just, Oh God. The last, last time you, last time you walk around all day with a uh, butt plug in your butt. Right. No. Anyways, so I was at the gas station on Friday night. Oh, Pedro says you guys are only playing on Twitch and D Live. Yes. Actually, we're playing the video games. We're only doing it on Twitch. In fact, yeah, we forgot. We we fucking moved on to the next thing. So yeah, guys, we're we're randomly um, streaming games on Twitch. So both of us, blue turds here, or whatever we are, um, we are on Twitch and we're gaming and we're actually, you know, we both got good computers now. Semi. And you know what? In many ways, the conversation is almost more relaxed and just uh like we're not trying to bring you guys news or make the news funny while we're on there we're just hanging out with you guys and honestly we might be better at that than we are at this but we're going to keep going with this obviously tuesdays and thursdays 9 p.m eastern 8 p.m central but yeah we're going to do everything and right just but if, see if you go over there on twitch and just um follow and then just turn the uh notification bell on and you never have to log into twitch other than you'll get a notification when we go live. They're good at notifications and you'll get a yeah. notification like, oh, Shotgun News went live. And I guess if, if, if for anything else, that might be a reason to hop over on Twitch. We like Twitch a lot. It's actually, uh, you know, honestly, a little fun. It's than... fun. But yeah, what we're doing out here, we're just like a couple of Italian monkeys and we're just throwing shit to the wall to see what sticks. And, uh, you know, like, you know, how Italians throw spaghetti on the wall. Yeah. So anyways, we're throwing shit on the wall like monkeys do. And so we're Italian monkeys. Right. We're gonna use the shit that sticks to the it's, wall. It, by the way, it's also on D Live. So we, if you look through the D Live video log, it should be on there too. But Wait, why not new YouTube? Are you why are you against YouTube? Maybe we can try YouTube, but in my opinion, no. We're trying to build our audience on the Twitch. Yeah, I, I you think... know what? But it doesn't matter. Honestly, look, I think that as long as we stream on all three, it doesn't matter. Look, right now, since we have um, decided to have this cosmetic surgery and turn ourselves into these, uh, whatever these things are. Um, our audience has grown on both DLive and Twitch, but not so much on, on YouTube. So, but, you know, regardless, you know what I mean? That what, what we're trying to get at is trying to get to those new platforms and new, you know, and new yeah, audience. Well, I mean, honestly, Pedro, if it makes a big difference to you, man, we'll sometimes Twitch or stream to YouTube, okay? 
Like, as in, for the gaming. Obviously, Tuesday and Thursday nights, we're always here, okay? <laughs> just to clarify, I just want to make sure nothing changes. Wait, I mean, look, I, honestly, look, content is king. You know what I mean? So, let do you, look, I'm asking you straight up. Do you really just want to stream to Twitch well, I, and the Ivan? I don't Matt, know. You, well, here's the thing. I don't know if it impacts. Or are you just trying to do, you know, what we always talk about, which is, you know, trying to grow as much or whatever. So, no, I, case, I think it impacts, it might impact the frames per second if we're doing that. I don't know. I have never. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. Because what happens is, is that your computer is spinning out. It's just spitting out one signal. And that signal is spit out to restream and then restream. It's that's the one that sends it to all the other. Well, the places. other thing about it is, is I don't know if I, if I can make the YouTube a cattle. I don't know if I want the YouTube. Well, it might have to create two playlists on YouTube then and throw. Well, you the should. Thing. Yeah, that's not, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Playlists are great. Um, in fact, we don't have any of these things on a playlist. Even if we just do the podcast and we have them on a playlist, that helps with discovery and so many things. A lot of times, you know, people listen to the podcast like, you know, they're doing stuff and the podcast is over. All right. And all right. They're like, might, hold on, no, no. hold might. on, hold on. If the podcast is over and it's on a playlist, you know, and it goes to the next podcast. You know what I mean? But if um, the podcast is not on a playlist, it'll, it'll probably play like Tucker Carlson or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well then we can do we can do it over to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. and and you know to put all these on a on a playlist Again, it should just take like five ten minutes, you know. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so I was at a I was at the gas, oh, I, will, I was I at will. the gas station. On yeah, I was at the gas station on Friday, and there was a guy, and he was. I mean, these guys were big guys. Not that that matters. But these guys were like big fatties. Oh, fat fat people! I thought you were talking about big schlongs. Big fat guys. Uh, got me excited for Not me, that man. it matters, but uh, these guys were oh, these it guys matters. were huge with like you know, I think I saw I I want to I want to like I think definitely pants they were too big for their pants. Um, they couldn't fit in their pants. They were big. Really? Well, what kind of pants were they wearing? Like, like stretch? No, I think it was cheap. like shorts, like uh, cargo shorts. This was clearly so. Like, like if you had to pick a size, what number you think they were wearing? Um, like definitely lo like l <laughs> big dude. He's doing math. He's doing uh He's doing a calculus right now. Maybe like seventy inch waist. Shit, <laughs> that's pretty big. Really, I, seventy? Inch? I thought it'd be bigger. Okay, so wait, no, so maybe like eighty five. I used to be maybe like ninety. I, look, when I weighed like two eighty. I was like 44, 46, 48. Okay, so these guys were probably, I would guess, like maybe 450 pounds. Okay, so yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe not 70. Maybe that's a bit too much. You fucking asshole. No, it's kidding. <laughs> All right. So there. No, no, yeah, but I would though. say, I mean, I could be wrong, but no, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you say 70. I would say 65. All right, so I'm in line right behind them, and this guy. Goes real home. real answer is 55. Go ahead. Yeah, and the gas station has its doors open. Like, the door is just propped open. It's a Friday afternoon, and they want, I guess, the breeze coming through or something. And it smells because of these big guys who are coming. Like, these guys are ahead of me, and they smell. But nothing that, no that way, matters. Really? What do you mean? Like, well, not all fat people smell, but these No, no, but these particular guys smell. Not that it matters. Well, what did they smell like? Like, they hadn't showered for a while. <laughs> You know, don't you ever go around fat Well, people? I mean, what if they can't fit in hey, the this, shower? This is the point of the story. Like, yeah, well, but, what if they couldn't fit in the shower? That's too, that's too bad. Then hose off. I don't want to be mean, but I mean, it's all of our own responsibilities and nobody else's to make sure that we they should at least like, get one of those little mini pools for the backyard, right? And at least definitely take a not. Well, yeah, I mean, I can complain about it if you're going to, you know, get one of those big brushes that you wash a horse with, you know? Yeah. Maybe I'm inconsiderate for trying to make fun of them for being fat, but that's really not. I mean, I'm really not. No, but you here's, are. You here's are. what it is, though. It, it is, is what it is. Even though you, even though it sounds like you're not, it, it actually sounds like you are. So you're actually fat shaming these guys that you've no, never met. No, no, I'm just trying to give you a picture it's of fine, what, what this was which like. Which is funny. So <laughs> he goes, and how much for this? And he hands over like an iPhone charger cable, and the gas station attendant goes, a nineteen something. And he goes, holy fuck, <laughs> $19. And then he yells out to the guy in the car and he goes, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to my place. I can't, I, I'm not paying $19 for a fucking cord. And he starts like really laughing, right? And these guys were loud the whole time. And oh, so they were jolly. Oh, super like, yeah, like yelling outside, inside, like, hey. Oh, yeah, I hey, already hey, know. So these, oh, so I already, I'm already pictures. I'm trying to picture them. Oh, dude, yeah, these guys are like in their own world, bro. They're probably gonna go back yeah. home to go play Dungeons and Dragons or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, it seemed like right? a night. It seemed like a night out. Yeah, that's right. And there, and he was going. He was like, I'm gonna go back home, back home and get my cord because this is nineteen dollars. But then, as he he puts the cord down on the counter and he checks out the rest of his items, and then as he's leaving, he takes the cord. And he starts walking out. And the gas station attendant goes, Sir! Sir! <laughs> and then he stops. And he goes, You still got the cord. <laughs> and the big guy goes, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I just grabbed it. I just grabbed it. Wow! And he, slick! And he's pretty slick for a yeah, foreign Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then he goes, and, and then I check out. And now I'm in, on the parking lot. And then and, you take the charge. You know? <laughs> no. And then I'm and out in the parking lot. The parking lot. Sorry, go ahead. And the guys, the big guys, they're pissed. I mean, they are so pissed that that cord was $19. They're still cussing about it. They're like, the fucking thing, fucking, fucking, fucking. If I, I was didn't like, want to, wow. That's how lazy they are. They want to drive back in only like 10 minutes or whatever. I couldn't decide who they were. I mean, at first they seemed like big nerds. And then, like, they were just, you know, tilted after, after getting just fat, disgusting people, smelly, thieves. not nerds at all. They were just, I don't horrible. know. Yeah. That's great. That's a great story, man. Just, I mean, I had never seen like, honestly, when's the last time you saw somebody try to shoplift in front of you? And then the, they got like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see ever, no, much. actually, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's pretty funny. That yeah. is pretty funny. The fact that that, again, you know, they went through that whole ordeal. And then he tried to steal it. And the fact that he's so fat and slow and obvious, I'm sure. You know what I mean, like, you know, that's, that's what made it even funnier. And the fact that he's just, I mean, they are just tilted afterwards too. And the funny part is like, if it was, I mean, because I, what I've seen, I've seen like people like steal something and then get caught and then run. You know what I mean? So, I, I mean, I, I thought you were going to say he was going to run, but then you know, no, I he, realized he, he, he put he it back on the counter. He can't run. Yeah, he can't run. But that uh, would have been hilarious if he would have fucking, you know, rolled over to the car and then they would have fucking sped off. And they're, they're all, all fucking three or four of them in the car are so fat. And the car is going like, and it's like, and then like it like stalls out. I can't go any faster than like five or 10 miles per hour. Yeah, it just <laughs> stalls out, right? It's, it's taking a left turn out of the gas station. <laughs> And then the cop is like right there, you know, or it crashes into the cop at five miles per hour. <laughs> and then the, they smell, then the cop is going to arrest him and they smell so bad, so bad that it makes the cop pass out in the middle rest. Right. Opie goes, when's the hot box? Ah, uh, when do you want it to be, Opie? You want it to be tonight? We can enter there at 930 and just put the last half hour of the show. No, you know when the hot box is going to be when we do the video games. Okay. Well, whatever you want to do, man. Because we can even, in fact, here's the you thing. Get, here's the thing, Jose. Hold on, hold on. In fact, if you guys want to join us, you can even we can all chat together. It'll be fun. That's true. Hopefully, not too much of a mess in there. But the plan is to mainly do that on Saturdays and Sundays, but maybe the Saturday no, nights. One day or weekend. We don't know what day. It could be varying. It depends. Mm -hmm. Usually after or before our our football game. So I think this week, if we're going to play, is going to be after. What time do the Dolphins play? Not that. 12, 1 o'clock. Same for you, I think. No, we might get flex. I mean, honestly, this is going to be a big game. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, it's 12 p.m. for now. Yeah, no. Who are you playing? It's the Vikings versus the Browns. The Browns are pretty good. Yeah, the Browns are going to stomp you, bro. <laughs> we'll see about that. Who the fuck are we playing? Like Jack, no, Some the Colts. losers. Yeah, your yeah, game. We could probably, we so could your probably, game's gonna have a total of uh, what's the population of? I don't know, Fargo. I mean, you're you're gonna have like maybe a hundred thousand people watching. Maybe. Okay, we got the Colts, so I think we can beat the Colts. They seem shitty. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting flex on my end. 
They're going to flex me to fucking Saturday night. Yeah. Hey, did you hear about this story about a, a crypto trading hamster? A what? What? <laughs> All right. Let's yeah, actually, I heard this. about it, but I'm going right. to pretend like I did it. So tell me more. Jose, please meet. Actually, the- I heard about the hamster, but I don't know anything. I mean, I don't read the article. So right. meet the. Should di- we be taking? By the way, should we be taking trading advice from this hamster? Yes. Okay. Meet the day trading hamster that is outperforming Warren Buffett, Kathy Wood, and the S and P five hundred. Whoa, Mister. Oh, okay. He's doing better than fucking Tony Vase. Notice right? what his name is. His name is Mister. He's doing better than Tony Vase. No, his name is Mister Gox. Mr. Gox the hamster. You know, how long do these hamsters survive, man? Do you think he's going to be around for a, for a long time? I don't know. Look we'll at mm-hmm. that next. Mr. Gox is trading, uh, is a trader that is outperforming some of the biggest names in finance. He is also, dot, 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 a hamster. The rodents trading. Yeah, at least he's not a guinea pig. The rodents trading streams on Twitch. Look, he, even he's over on Twitch. Do you, oh, think he, oh. do you think his viewers are asking him, hey, do you guys we gotta go to watch. YouTube? We got to watch. We gotta, can we check him out and we find him? Do you guys go to YouTube? <laughs> can we find him? Can we go check his channel out? Sure, man. Give him some views and some follows. No, seriously, what the fuck is his name? Gox. No, Mr. Mr. Gox. Gox. Okay, let me, I'm going to do a search right now. I'm leaving this, this stream. I'm leaving the stream. I'm leaving the podcast. Is to go check out the <laughs> Mr. Gawk. I'm officially tuned out. No, it's kidding. I'm here, bro. I'm here. I'm fucking around. I would never leave. Is he right there? Science and technology. I got Mr. Gox. He says he's currently out of the office. He's not trading right now. He still has 145 viewers, huh? Mr. Gox, show me the way. Look at these comments right. coming in. Pretty funny. Oh, but I'm sure we can search. We get this love well, past look at, the... look at these comments coming in. Oh, they're, it's reversed right there. It says, Mr. Gox, show me the way. Yeah, look, there's a past. We can look at the past streams. Yeah, oh, my God, that's so cool. He has, like, a little office. Oh, yeah, you should show it to people. You want to send it to you? No, I found it. No, no, let's, but, like, Let's the finish stream... reading the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting it in Twitch because it's only appropriate. The rodents trading streams on Twitch. And his nearly 20% retor- return since he started this June are currently outpacing the S&P 500. And, 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 and us. And us. Yeah, since June? Oh, yeah, he's doing real good since June. When Mr. Gox enters the so-called Gox Capital office, a small box adjoined to his regular cage, a Twitch stream begins. An alert then goes off on his Twitter and Reddit, and it notifies his audience. Everybody has their notification bells on. I wonder how many hamsters watch. Dude, I can't believe it. He has, a, he has 150 people watching when he's not live, like when he's just out of the office. Although he, he may leave immediately or sit still, sometimes inspiration, right? Mr. Gox's office is outfitted with the wheel and two tunnels that enable his trading. The wheel, aptly named the wheel of intention, rotates through a set of about 30 cryptocurrencies, one of which gets selected after he hops off. When Mr. Gox gets off the wheel, he can go through either of the two tunnels in his office. Oh, one by the is, way, I see that he's uh, trading Doge. Maybe we should listen and watch. <laughs> one is labeled buy and the other is labeled sell. Depending on whichever tunnel he traverses, a buy or sell order automatically takes place on the online crypto exchange using his real money. A box in the upper right corner of the Twitch streams tracks his recent trades. A box in the bottom shows his account value and his return. Despite Mr. Gox's recent stellar performance, his owner, a 30-something old lecturer and prototyping uh, specialist in Germany, told the BBC that the project started as a hobby during the pandemic. The owner, who wanted to remain anonymous, works for his works with his best friend since college and put together the rodent setup. The pair emphasized to the BBC that Mr. Gox's streams are meant for entertainment purposes only and not as a financial advice. A small box at the bottom of every stream states Mr. Gox is not a certified or licensed trader. That's cool. Super cool. We could have come up with that easily, dude. 
Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching him now. But yeah, who the hell could watch this all day? It's just a hamster in a cage. Is it pretty bad? <laughs> it is pretty bad. But it's interesting. See, it's just a hamster in a cage, and whenever he wants, it's just again, it's like it really basically it's just like it's having a hamster in a cage, and if he walks over X block, he does X trade. And if he rocks walks over Y block, then Y trade, I guess. I don't know. I mean, Where's it's not really that I'm trying to figure out it's all complicated or you know what I mean? But yeah, he gets like 10. 14k views this is it oh my god ain't no music nothing wow and he leaves i mean it's clearly like it's like this is out of office hi guys i am currently taking a break in my main apartment i don't know when i'll be back you're welcome to stick around for a chat or you can keep an eye on the stream category when the category is set to crypto, I am in the office and you may see my work, see me, see me work my magic. When it's set to science and technology, I am currently out of the office, but trading data will still be shown. Here he is. Okay. As you can see, he is doing his thing. Here's commenters rolling in on him. Hmm. Can you guys see that? I think it's. I think you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching him uh, get exercise there. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he went in Dubai. No, he did not. There's a tunnel. Is he? Could it be? Oh. Wait, how much has he made? I think it's like buy and sell what, though? Here, his, his, the currency is... Oh, in right now it's Link. Buy link or sell link. Now he's out of the office. Yeah, you see? That's all right. It's not the greatest. No, you know what? Honestly, it's a better headline than it is a real story. <laughs> exactly. Like everything else out there, that should be a story for you kids. Yeah. That's In fact, again, some of these stories are so shitty that they just, uh, right? They just read the headline and nothing else. I can't believe that I can't believe that story only had the headline and there was no story that to was, go with the headline. That was C SPAN. No C SPAN. That's fucking terrible, bro. Jesus. For God. So, anyway, so yeah, we're probably gonna hotbox this weekend. If you guys are interested, you can join us um and you can chat with us live. Not just chat in the chat room, I mean like talk, like voice, you know, have your voices be heard. By somebody else other than your mom. My mom's actually a super big fan of the show. She listens all the time. Okay. My mom does not listen. My mom has a restraining order. Your characters stop moving its mouth. By the way, my mom does uh, not listen. To oh, there you go. Uh, that bad. So, anything recent happened in Mexico that you just want to tell everybody about, Jose? Or, you know, you're going to tell everybody about the big news? Big news? Yeah. What's the big news? I don't know what you're talking about. No, seriously. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so there's no big news. I thought you were having Mexico? a I thought you and have you were having a baby. <laughs> Just fuck it with you. No. <laughs> wow, that's the silence right there had me thinking, like, is that true? Did they just randomly put a dart on it? No. <laughs> no. We got enough with our dog. He is too much. In fact, no, no. Well, no. hey, with the elections coming up in 2022, everybody is certain that Donald Trump is going to And with run. the world ending in 2024. North. Yeah, exactly. Well, I have kids now. No, but yeah. Hey, no, I heard nothing, there's good tax credits now, so it might, nothing, it might be worth it. They might pay. They get that money, right? Just get her pregnant just to get that money. Abort them at the age of uh, financial... Abort them at 17, you know, when yeah. was her age? Right? When's, when's the tax credit run out? <laughs> yeah, 18, I think. I think it's, it's, yeah, abort them. Would... Abort them at 18. Clay Howell says everybody got quiet. It was. Yeah, I think after, uh, yeah, after, yeah, I brought the, after I brought up having a kid, it was just. No. 
No thanks. What about you? When are you having kids, huh? Oh. When are you and Mrs. Hanson gonna have kids? I'm out here so busy during the day. I'm not having kids right now, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. okay. I, might, I might get a dog. No, oh, that sounds fun. That sounds interesting. How's that? I don't know. I don't know if I will, though. It's a lot of work. Although I, I would have. Joe Biden just left a bunch of dogs in Afghanistan. I would have taken one of those dogs, even though they're okay. probably, they're probably yeah, maybe, rough. Maybe. But, Go rescue me. We're already out here in the desert, so I might as well rescue one. Yeah, I'm, take I'm, that's home. why I'm out here. I'm looking for the dogs. Yeah. What do you get yourself at the Shiba Inu? Get yourself a Doge. I can't believe Elon Musk got divorced right around. And we'll cover that on Thursday. But, I mean, he just got a Shiba yeah. Inu, and he's immediately getting divorced. It's like he's going to keep the dog, and she's going to keep the kid. Well, I mean, again, we'll talk about this more Thursday. on Thursday, all right? But, we got a full hour-long discussion on Elon. So we already did the thumb. Episode. We already did the thumb for next for next episode. Okay. Okay. So that's what we're gonna fucking cover next episode. All right. But we're also gonna cover it now because no 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 we'll cover it on Thursday. I got yeah, I know. so much no but I, I, I read about. something today which I'm probably well I mean well whatever I'll remember them. Yeah that's fine. I'll remember Thursday. You so better I'll leave you guys on in a cliffhanger. Thursday. I'll leave you guys in a cliffhanger. That nah, Clay says get a passport, mm -hmm. not a kid. Exactly. 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 Dang exactly. It. That's Wise right up Jose, that's right up Jose's alley. Wise words. Get a pass. Yeah. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. I'm gonna wave at you over there. Shout out to you. Yeah. Get a pass. Send you a little, little shout out you. there. Get a pass. So you know what? Yeah. I gotta admit, like last week's, I think it was Tuesday episode where we talked about that murder mystery, Nancy Grace, uh Hardy Boys. Cereal box, Florida man. Oh, dude, did you hear? Don't, did you see the thing that I sent say, you? That did, you see the thing, did you see the thing I sent you about the case? No, but our discussion on that was some of the best content we've made in a while. I just wanted to congratulate you, Jose. Was, really? Like, you think I, so? I think so. If you guys go back, Jose uploaded it to his channel. I mean, the beginning is pretty slow, but then. But I mean, that's not saying much. We haven't been that we haven't been that engaged in a single story because usually, I mean, honestly, when we're covering these stories, we're you know so dedicated about getting the facts. I mean, we are bringing people straight news. Yeah, straight no chase. But but that we were uh, we were on the ball. Oh, shout out to you, Luke. Let me give you a little high five. High five. High five. High five. Let's head to Twitter and see what's going on. I know. Let's see what everybody's talking about tonight. Hey, before you go, the Twitter, um, should I, I sent you something in Discord. You should bring that up because I think that some breaking news in that in that case there. Really, though? I got some breaking news in the Gabby, 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 is her name? Gabby Preto, yeah. Preto, wow. Rito, what's her name? That's her name. What the fuck is her name? How are Gab we supposed to find her? Gabby, we don't know what her name is, bro. Gabby Petino. Are we still looking for her? Or what's the deal? No, she's dead. They found her. She's dead. Oh, so they found her. Oh, so she died, huh? She couldn't. She she couldn't hold on. Dude, she, I don't know. You're always you're always doing this, Jose. Do what? You send something, and all it is is this. Like, oh, nice, Jose. The New York Post. Dude, all, but this isn't a this isn't an article. This is a screen. This is a screenshot of an Instagram thing. I think. Yeah, but look what it says. What does it say? Gabby Patino was in 2013 irreplaceable. Oh, it was in 2013 Irreplaceable music video for Sandy Hook. I'm irreplaceable. So this is the New York Post, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. That, yeah, you, so dude, just you didn't even so, send no. the fucking tweet. Like, just link me the so tweet. So it's not a conspiracy. Wait, so it's not a conspiracy. Oh, so you think it's a real tweet? I mean, you think it's not a real tweet? I don't know. I mean, I mean I'd mean, i like to see if, what the people commented on it, but uh, no way to know. I mean, all we got is this screenshot. Oh, you should go to New York Post uh, Twitter, there right? There it goes. If you're really that fucking interested. Not. Jeez, if you really want to know the truth. I just want, thought you did. Oh, by the way, by the way, we, we can... And what? Oh, dude, by the way, Sunday Night Football is about to be so great this week. I don't know if you guys know who it is, but it's Tom Brady and the Buccaneers going and visiting 
Gillette Stadium Patriots. They got a good quarterback. That is going to be a great Sunday night football game. Oh, yeah. Tom Brady back at Gillette Stadium. Bill Belichick, Tom Brady facing off Sunday night. Dun, 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 dun. Nobody's cursed with Cam uh-huh. Newton anymore. You you played that new uh, quarterback. He's pretty good. Who's who's Tom Brady playing? Wait, is that tonight? No, Sunday night. Patriots versus Buccaneers. Oh, so what are you saying? We're gonna what? Cover the? What? I'm confused. Why'd you no, bring I'm up? I'm just somebody? saying it's gonna be a good game. I mean, I'm sure people are talking about it on Twitter. In fact, they are talking about it on Twitter. That's why I thought of it. Because look at this right here on the side. Tom Brady speaks his mind. He's doing all these articles. But... We won't cover it because we've already talked about the NFL, but beyond, you know, that's something to be on the radar. Fox News tweeting out 18 seconds ago. Nine month pregnant woman found dead in Florida City Park. Damn. Okay. I mean, that's, that's just, uh, I mean, it's a pregnant woman. I guess that's what makes it a bad story, but that's Florida, bro. I mean, Florida City is not. Florida City is in between Miami and the Florida Keys. It's kind of like not no good but down there. It's okay. not a good area. South Chicago. Yeah, no, it's not that bad. But. <laughs> the U.S. government will run out of money by October 18th. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Tim Pool tweeted out 14 hours hey, ago. By the way, spoiler alert. They're never going to run out of money. You don't know that. The Fed is teasing whoa, whoa. the increasing interest rate. Well, how about this? When they do run out of money. We're all going to know at the same time. It, when they do run out of money, we'll be the last to know. No. Well, yeah, yeah you're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, what I'm saying is that everyone's going to find that at the same time. Yeah. All of the plebs are going to figure it out at the same time. Like, we're going to be announced that the game that they've been playing on us, that doesn't, you know, the game that they've switched the rules and then we'll be like, oh, shit. So, buy gold, buy uh, crypto, and good luck. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what real, you, I mean you can do whatever you want. You can play the game. You can diversify <laughs> and try to avoid them. Okay. Matt Walsh says they only give you 60 seconds to speak, they won't show the speakers on the live stream. They make you wear a mask. And all of that after requiring ID and proof of reven- uh, residence to enter. They put up every obstacle they could, but I still said my piece. Oh, wow. Matt yeah, Walsh man. still going to those city council meetings to contest uh, ch- schools forcing uh, masks on his children. So Tonight, but you tried not to allow it, yet here I am. Now, you only give us 60 seconds, so let me get to the point. You are all child abusers. You prey upon impressionable children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. By imposing this vile nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker rooms with boys, you deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental, too, which is truth. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. Worse, it is poison. You are poison. Well, they want boys and girls in the same locker room. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. You silence the opposing side because you have no argument. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away. But we won't. I promise you that. Thank you for your time, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Hmm. I don't know. I liked it when, I mean, the mask thing is a clear winner. I guess I, I you know. Show the mask one. Uh, we already did on a previous episode. I guess this is one he just did. So that's really the only. Matt Wallace out there is still fighting the Tennessee school system. Nice to see. Yeah, but again, they want, they can, did you not hear me? They want to have boys and girls in the same locker room. For real. Oh, and they, they want more than that. Yeah, they want more than that. Clearly. <laughs> they yeah, want well, to do, I mean, they, you know, to they me, want to. Like, um, they look, want... I'm sorry, but if, 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 if I'm sorry, man, but you know, the way I see it is like if you are a parent and this is happening in your school district or school, whatever, um, and you can't do anything about it, then you can do something about it, meaning you can just take your ch- child out of there and figure out 
a better solution. Yeah, private school. The people, yeah, I mean, whatever it is, there's a million solutions. But at the end of the day, anyone that has, continues to allow this, I mean, you know, I don't know what to say, man, you know, except that, I mean, that's why I don't live there anymore. Well, the other thing that they're doing is they're making it so that if the kid was to go to the teacher and say, or the school and say, I would like hormone blockers, then, you know, the, the parents don't even need to be told. And these are minors. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. I've heard about other shit like that's, that. Where, that's becoming, that's a very so popular things. Democrat dude, position. They're, that's not dude, they're hyperbole they're doing, at all. No, yeah, I know. They're doing so many things like that to turn their kids against the parents and allowing kids to do basically whatever they want behind the parents yeah. you know, without their consent and all those other things. And I'm going to tell you, man, all this shit's protected by the law. And um, I'm going to tell you why it's protected by the law. It's simply because, you know, when you have a child and you sign that birth certificate, um, that child does not belong to you anymore. It belongs to the state. You're basically signing, when you sign the birth certificate for your child at, at birth, you're basically giving, a, you know, you're giving uh, your child to the state in the sense that you're signing your kid away. Um, you know, how you're doing that is that you're giving them a trust. You know, the USA is now the trustee of your child as, as, as opposed to you. And right. uh, that's basically what you're doing when you're yeah, sending this. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it is. All right. It is. Yeah, and see. so, that, but that's why they do all these things. I mean, because, and that's why they're allowed to do these things. And the parent, if a, that's why if a parent fights it, what do they do? If what? Okay, right now, if the parent fights this, what do they do? They basically get the parent and they put them in, uh, they, they, they take them to, uh, what is it, the child court or whatever the fuck, or they put them through the whole situation and they take DHS, right? Or, yeah, DHS, um, Department of, uh, no, not there's a DHS, which is the one that's like um, for the kids, for the families. Um, but anyways, they send them over to the house to take their kids away formally. So if you go again, and this is true, you can look it up since you brought it up. But if anyone that, any parent that fights any of these measures or any of these things, they will have the government come and take their child away. And the, the government has all the right to do that. You signed away that right. So that's a, that's a fact, bro. That's the scary. That's what all this stuff that I used to talk about. Now it's coming to a head because it, it's like now it's like, you know what I mean? All this stuff is yeah, like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, people are discovering it because it's happening to them straight up. All right. President o Obama has also spoken up tonight. He's saying that we need the Build Back Better program, Jose. We need that with Joe Biden Build Back Better. Very good. Yes. Can you in? Anything else happening tonight? No, not much. No, but I mean, I don't know. Whatever. I mean, what did you, what did you, what, what? Did you want to say that did not allow me to continue <laughs> my, my rant? Um, nothing. I was just moving right along. I mean, really, we we've talked about trans. You were just uh, circling back to that. Is that what you're doing? No, no, no. It was just uh, you know, I'm looking through what's happening in the feed. I don't want to get too into the weeds on the trans thing. The what trans thing? Is that what you were talking about? I'm not talking about trans anything. Bro. I don't know. It's hard to follow you sometimes, Jose. You got to ask more questions while you're doing them. You're like, you know, doing a discussion. But you don't have to. You just keep going. Well, but when I, but I thought, you, okay, I can ask you a question. That's fine. We can do it again. All right. Ask me a question. So you, you were scoffing at the idea that when you sign that birth certificate that you are giving up all the rights as a parent to the state by signing away your child to the trust that is the United States of America. You were scoffing at that idea, right? What made you scoff? Why, why, what do you think that's crazy? Um, I don't think that's, oh, shoot. I don't think that's necessarily correct. I think every American citizen has freedom to, you know, fight back. As long as you have your second amendment rights, you have a say of something with your children. You're not giving up your entire right what of you your children. What do, you, what do you mean fight back? Uh, you, you can mean? leave, you can move. You don't, what do you oh, mean? Yeah, but what, what does it have to do with what I just said about the birth certificate? Um, you weren't paying attention? You, you, you did all this from trans people in bathrooms? Well, because again, you're you, acting like we don't have you know, control. You're right. You're right. No, no, let's, let's bring it back. Let's circle back to that. 
So the reason we brought that up is because if you are a parent and, and you're right, I guess you answered it correct. You're right. You're right. If you are a parent and you have um, your child in a school, the only thing you can do is just get up, take your child out of the school and get the fuck out of there. Because if you fight it, if you say a peep, if you do anything, you're most likely your kids are going to get taken away from you in one shape, form or another. You see this Dr. Jordan Peterson post? This is weird. Oh, I haven't seen it. He says, two hours ago, uh, brought my artwork, investigation, the meaning of music home from my university office. The first time in 20 years that it has hung at home. Here it is. I never saw this before. And it's his profile picture, too. Is it the top of the picture? Okay. Weird. Huh. Why is it weird? I just never seen it before, but it has been his profile picture for a while. No, oh, yeah, that's like in all his videos and all that shit. That's like the the intro to all his videos, the intro to all his things. Uh, so did he make that? I'm confused. Yeah, I think it is. I think he did make it. Okay. What is it? So that's his artwork. It's called and he calls an investigation. He calls it like the investigation of music or something. <laughs> Me the meaning of music. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Matt Gates, the lover boy. My politics or whatever this is. Wow. Oh wait, no, never mind. He's looking up at an American flag. <laughs> What, did he just go on a date and decide to take a picture and say this is my politics or whatever? Is, is? So is Matt Gates? I think, okay, let me guess. If Matt Gates, I think he's the Republican, right? Oh my God. And he's from Florida, right? Yeah. Okay, I see. I know. It's like saying, Barrow, okay, oh, bro. like it's like you bring up Lamar Jackson. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the quarterback, right? And you're like, yeah, for Baltimore, right? Yeah. So it's like, see, I'm, 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 I'm getting. All right. You know, like if we talk, say Tom Brady or hey, you know what I saw today? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but this would be like me going, um, yeah, so Matt this, Gates. This is would be like... the equivalent of me going, like, uh, oh, um, Hex or not Hex. It'd be like, wasn't even more popular. Oh, Tether. That's like a a crypto, but it's Matt tied Gates to the dollar. Matt Gates is not Tether. Yeah, he's about as yeah. If you know crypt, if if somebody doesn't know crypto but they know what tether is, that's the equivalent of somebody knowing politics and knowing enough to say tether is a tie to the U.S. dollar. That's like Matt Gates is a Republican. It's about as deep as that goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, good job, man. I'm impressed. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. I did a lot of research on that. Yeah, but also, wasn't he in trouble for something? Yeah, he was uh, accused of what they're all accused of, which is uh, sexually assaulting or something. But he was vindicated. Accused, I just accused. Yeah, but not convicted. That's correct. Yeah. Of what? Talking to some chick? Minor, minor too. Hey, Tulsi Gabbard. Was yeah, but again, it's funny that it's just an accusation, right? If it was a minor and this was a real thing, they would have taken it to court. Notice how did they take it to court? No, never really went to court. Okay, so then it's all bullshit. It was, a, it was yeah, it was Here literally a fucking, it was a federal. Huh? It was like one of those alphabet agency investigations into yeah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, are right. you kidding me? Yeah, okay, that's fucked up. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's like you see how they can just fucking uh, smear you and fucking destroy you like that, and uh, it's all fake. Because what 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 uh, what accusation? What, uh, what, you know, what, what, uh, there was never, here's the truth too, dude. There was what case, what case are we doing here? You know? Yeah. What, what are we, um, the whole time Matt Gates was like, uh, what woman, what's the name? Who, oh, really? Yeah. They, they, there wasn't even an accuser. Does that make sense? Oh like, my. Yeah. It was an investigation God. and they wouldn't even say the name. 
Dude, we gotta play the clown song. I, can we, I'm gonna get this as a sound bite. Every time anything happens from now on, like whatever, I'm just gonna have to play the clown music from now on. Or whatever <laughs> yeah. clown music is. Hey, uh, Tulsi Gabbard was trending today. Yeah, what's she doing? She went on, uh, I think, Fox News at some point. She's going on Fox mm. News more often. Okay. Um, so uh, she's. It's great. I think. I think she's speaking out against Joe Biden. So you think, you know what, man? If she runs as a Republican, there we go. Yeah. you think do you think if she runs as a, like okay, a quick question: If Trump doesn't run for whatever reason, and um, Tulsi runs for Republican, you think she'll win? She won't. But I would. President. But I I wouldn't be opposed to it. No, I'd vote for her. What you wouldn't? I think so. But I mean, it depends on who else is running. I mean, if if DeSantis is running, I'd probably vote for him. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like if she's the Republican nominee. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, even if um if it was if it wasn't Trump and it wasn't DeSantis, at this point, I you know what? I think she's shown more steadfast to her convictions than any of the other reptiles that would probably move in like ted cruz even though you know he's yeah. not not the worst i mean but... i don't agree with everything but no. for sure no she's but a seems like a logical normal and and she will buck the system i guess yeah oh by um, the way i found it i found it is this it there you go they didn't even have a name of the accuser Sorry, that's the song. Wait, play right? it again. Play it again. They, and Jose, they didn't even have a name. He was like, "And what's the name of this woman?" They never even released the yeah, name. Yeah, no, I was like, "Let's do it again." Hey, so what was the name of this accuser of this uh, Matt Gates dude? That's the funny part, Jose. They didn't even release a name. He was like, "Who is it?" And they never released the name. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? They never released the name. There wasn't even a name. Yeah, I'm going to download this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I don't even know what else to say, bro. I mean, are you serious right now? Yeah, let's look at this. I mean, I, of course talk, you're serious. I believe hey, this, it. I mean, this secular talk guy, he's really, uh, you know, he's... he's Secular. No, um, he's fallen out of... Uh, well, I don't know who he is. Yeah, I know. Hey, what's his name again? But it's for the audience. Kyle Klawinski, Secular Talk. That's his show on YouTube. And he is... Um, he's falling out of... Um, He's falling out of uh, good fortune with a lot of people who are like Jimmy Dore and that whole crowd. Yeah, what, what, what happened? He's, Is he on TYT all of a sudden? Uh, he's, no, uh, he actually joined He joined um, Kyle. No, he joined Crystal Ball and he is trying to... He's Who's trying to keep good relations with politicians cause for interviews. Does that make sense? He wants to do the interviews. So he'll he'll say things differently because uh, he wants to be able to keep a connection to keep that interview possible. He wants to still be able to interview AOC if it's... He's trying to get into that crowd. He wants to interview AOC. He wants to interview Bernie Sanders. He wants to interview these people. Meanwhile, Jimmy Dore wants to build an audience of activists and he wants to leverage his movement against... Uh, I guess people that are doing things that hurt that in his mind hurt the movement. So he's really uh, he's he Jimmy Dore is building a building a base for power and a movement of pressure, a pressure movement. Kyle Kalinske is more of a you know inside baseball guy. Okay, anyways, so he secular talk. This Kyle Kalinske tweets out: Tulsi Gabbard called Biden dictatorial. Not for using Title 42 to deport 690,000 migrants illegally, but for being mean to the Border Patrol when they were caught being needlessly aggressive <laughs> to the Haitian migrants who had to cross the border back to Mexico to get food and not starve to death. Play the music. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was on mute. Oh, my bad. I apologize. No, go ahead and play. Go ahead and play. It was perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought it was on mute, man. My bad. I was trying to edit this thing real quick. Sorry. Go ahead and play it. It's perfect. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> the migrants. I don't know. I mean, that's just a lame tweet, honestly. Who cares? Hold on. Let me. 
Democrat Tulsi Gabbard on Biden's border disaster. Trump policies work. Must be reinstated. Damn, Tulsi! <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I was just, okay. Tulsi Gabbard, former Democrat representative Tulsi Gabbard. Biden is somebody who's been very outspoken about being against autocrats and dictators, but what he essentially did was act as a judge, jury, and executioner for those Customs and Border Patrol agents on horseback. Former Democrat Representative Tulsi Gabbard blast Biden for viewing... Oh my God, why are we still talking about the border agents? As if there's nothing like more important going. Moving on, is that really why she's trending today? <sighs> we play that music again? Uh, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Nah. <laughs> I need that music. Can you send it to me? What? I want that. Can you send me that audio file once you have it downloaded? Yeah, yeah, I was editing it so I can get the right. the front of the music hey. here, you know, so we can get so we can get full clown goodness, you know, yep. the best clown goodness possible. Breaking news, Jose. Breaking it. Pfizer has launched a final study for the COVID drug that's a, that is suspiciously similar to horse paste. Pfizer. Of course. Is, yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, no, no, actually, actually, actually. <laughs> Pfizer is by the way, by the way, did you hear Biden? Uh Biden just got his uh his third dose. Yeah. He got it on video too. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Another piece of US anti in uh puzzle may have emerged. Pfizer announced that it's launching an accelerated two third phase trial for a COVID uh prophylic pill designed to ward off COVID in those that it may have contact the disease coincidentally or not pfizer's drug shares at least one mechanism of an action uh in pfizer's drug shares at least one mechanism of action as ivermectin an anti-parasitic parasitic used in humans for decades which functions as a protease inhibitor against covid19 which researchers speculate could be the biophysical basis behind anti-viral efficient hey, you know what I love, you know what i love so much about being in mexico i get all the free horse paste i want straight from the horse nice source <laughs> <laughs> lo and behold pfizer's new drug which some have jokingly dubbed pfizer mectin is described by the pharmaceutical giant as a potent protease inhibitor the zero hedge readers might recognize that's exactly what ivermectin um, has been used for in both humans and animals. We aren't the only ones to have put this together. As Twitter users have commented on the similarities, the timing, which coincides with the whole horse dewormer smear campaign, just seems odd. The similarity between Pfizer's upcoming offering and ivermectin have not gone, have not gone unnoticed. Okay. People are tweeting out after a crafted horse dewormer smear. Yes, how crazy is that that they want to sell you a daily pill that you need to take for the rest of your life? And so everybody, oh, now all of a sudden, overnight, everyone has to take a pill every single day of their life to the end of the times, forever, every generation, everyone born, every everyone, everyone's going to now have to take a pill. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Forever mm -hmm. over this fucking thing. Well, I don't know if it's like killing anybody. A, is it a and daily pill or it. is it just a pill that you take when you feel like you're sick? I mean, regardless, honestly. Look with all that, guys. I, mean, I know their preference would be anal daily. injections. Yeah, and daily. Yeah. Video captures an Australian driver narrowly avoiding oncoming traffic. Yeah, so the other day that was funny. I mean, funny and nothing happened. Dude, by the way, with this new uh, this new job, of, Biden, no, this, <laughs> this new job of mine, I gotta tell you. Oh no, it's Greta Thunberg. Mm -hmm. 
I don't understand why oh. you, t you keep the mask on until you're going to talk. Why can't you just have the mask off the whole time? I don't know. Greta Thunberg dismisses. You know what I mean? Let's just see what I'm not going to listen to her, but look at her eyes, dude. No, she's getting, uh, you know, uh, the coaching her better. She's uh, doing a lot, you know. Is she really? Probably. I mean, this is her job now. That's crazy. Right. I can't wait to see her in like 10 years how fucked up she's going to be. I wonder how, too, how much honestly. therapy she's going to need. You know, but she's probably like the the daughter of some rich dude, you know? Maybe. Yeah, she probably has some good connections. Or something. Yeah. So she's, Thunberg, probably, she's probably like the next Ivanka Trump or something, you know? Maybe. Only horrible. Only horrible. Greta Thunberg. Like the horrible, the horrible Ivanka Trump. She dismisses world's leaders' climate rhetoric. Our hopes and dreams drown in their empty words and promises. Of course, we need constructive dialogue, but they've had 30 years of blah, blah, blah. And where has that led us? The rising. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Science you know what, doesn't uh, lie. Oh, we're listening. You know what? Uh, what the fuck is it? Al Gore said? Al Gore said that by 2016, there will be green grass and an, on Antarctica again. Hey, last time I checked, it was still cold. Hey, did I just? Yeah. Last time I checked, last time, last time I was down there, and I put the, I put my fucking dick in the ice, and noticed it was whoa, still cold. Whoa, whoa! Breaking news! Breaking news! Mm -hmm. <laughs> the United States officials have deported a key player in the Russian cyber criminal world who was sentenced to nine years in U.S. prison in 2020 for his alleged role in a scheme that defrauded Americans of millions of dollars. No, he wasn't deported. You know, Russia probably says, hey, um, we want him back. He's hey, not going to yeah. be in a prison. He's, he's not going to be your prisoner. He's an asset. War. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. And he's probably nobody. He's probably just a regular dude. And he's probably not a hacker. He's just some guy that they got said he's framed. a hacker. <laughs> yeah. He's probably just got framed. Happens all the time. All the time. Demo I'm starting to think it here's happens. The question I'm, for uh, us. Jose, here's the real thing. I'm starting to think it happens more often than not. Yeah. Probably, I mean. No, seriously. I'm starting to think that most people who are convicted are probably more than not framed. Yeah, most people, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, that's a probably a good uh, feeling you got in your gut there. But again, we got to go with the statistics and, you know, there's a lot of criminals out there. But, but yeah, most of these criminals, like 90% of them or 85% of them are actually innocent. Wow. A lot. Demo I'm sorry to think, especially the national stories, like if CNN or AT&T is pushing something on me, I know that they have their own agenda to do it. So mm -hmm. regardless of the facts, even if it's true, the fact that I'm hearing about it, like Gabby Patino, like the fact that I'm hearing about it, something worth thinking about is to the reason why I'm listening to it. You know, like even if it's true, even if it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how, has how a is it relevant or beneficial to me in my decision making? How is it beneficial to the discussion that uh, I could otherwise be having about something maybe else? Exactly. That's why they want you to talk about that. Exactly. That is why they want so you're not talking about that. That yeah. we're not talking about, I don't know, Afghanistan, uh, I don't know, the border, I don't know, the economy, I don't know, inflation. The race, I mean, they do want us talking about the race. That's right. Yes, sir. Obi has a question for us. Opie says Al Gore invented the internet and Al Gore needs to run for president again and he says he is Satoshi. Yeah, he's more like a sh you shit Toshi. Here's a question for us. He's going to light up another joint real quick. Get right to it. Is that okay, bro? Is that all right? I thought this was America. Huh? I thought this was America. It is. Yeah. Okay. That I was free to do what I want. Hope he anyway. says, I'm a violent criminal. So am I. I was all over the news. Me too. And had the news crew trying to talk to my neighbor. 
Well, actually, they had no, no news crew came. They had no news on my arrest. I've been in the news, but only for good things. Not bad things. I've never been in the news. Oh, yeah, right. I'm sure you were in the news. Well, I'm going to be in the news, but that's later on. We already talked about that. Uh, speaking what? of... Well, I'm famous. I, I know you don't... Yeah, you mean it as in a success, but I will say... What's this most recent story I heard on uh, another national story? There was three teenagers in like some East Coast city. They Eating were, a Philly thing. They were like maybe 13 years old and they were arrested for planning out their high school, um, a high school mass murder. And the mom of the child said that her daughter was just obsessed with Columbine. Oh wow! No way! So like the three thirteen-year-olds were gonna do yeah. another column, and it was this. They were planning it out for like the year twenty twenty-three or something. So who knows how serious this was or yeah. what? But even her mom—that's what I found so weird. Was like her mother said that her child was obsessed with Columbine and always talking about it. And you know, if you're a young kid and you're obsessed with something like that, you might not be smart enough to like. I'm sorry, I shouldn't even say this, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, if you're actually planning some deviant act you don't go t telling everybody about it like i don't know if you know if you're gonna go steal chocolate from the cookie jar you don't go so it's just stupid that um that that kid did that here we go here we go i'll cut yeah, their kids yeah exactly so they so they do so that apparently but that's weird yeah, that her we're just parents talking about that. it like a, like anything else that you're excited about when you're correct that here it goes teens accused of plotting pennsylvania high school attack students plotted to attack pennsylvania school on the 25th anniversary this is one day ago i'm trying to find four teens accused of plotting columbine style school attack four days ago. let's uh i'm trying to get to just one of these wow it's been 25 years man let's just read okay this one seems four students in pennsylvania were charged okay with planning a columbine style attack on the dunmore high school in a county in pennsylvania Powell said the students were planning the attack for, look at this, April 20th, 2024. Dude, up until then, April 20, it was on 420? Yeah, I guess. Wait, wow. Get out of here. Memes. Wow. Before no, I memes mean, existed. Crazy. I mean, dude, so up until then, there was no school shootings. And ever no, since No, no, that's not true. There was a Texas University shooting. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. I'm not talking about like, I mean, the, yes, you're, you're technically right. Yes, there were multiple shootings, meaning a handful of shootings in the last like, I don't know, 100 years, okay, since then, you know, so, so from 1899 till 1999, yeah, those like five school shootings in 100 years. But from 1999, from this day going forward, um, there's been like, I don't know, like how many fucking mass shootings already? I don't know, but let's read how serious it's this like is. It's like a normal thing now. But this you know is a I mean? very like, serious thing here. It is. Well, it is. No, no, I, it I is. heard about this. Yeah. I All mean, right. to, go ahead. Yeah, read, go yeah, ahead. Go, well, let's see what, actually, like, what the evidence is here, okay? I mean, just because you watch a documentary on Columbine doesn't mean that the police have the right to get involved, okay? So let's see what's going on. No, you're right. You're right. But actually, well, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, yeah, I, no, we, I, we, I, 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 saw, I heard about this story a little bit as well. And so, like, no, I think that the kids were actually, you know. But here, let's see, okay? Powell said in a statement that two of the students, remember, there were um, four students who were charged and with this, but Powell said in a statement that two of the students, both 15 involved, were charged as adults because of the serious nature of the charges. So you have two 15-year-olds being charged as adults. Two other students whose ages were not disclosed will face yeah, charges. What were the charges? Well, I mean, yeah, well, let's get to it. We'll face charges as juveniles. Quote, I want to assure the parents, students, and staff at the Dunmore High School that we do not believe there is any active threat at the time. Dunmore is a town of 13,000 located 120 miles south, north of Philadelphia. Okay, here we go. The details. The group began planning the attack in May in a group chat called Natural Born Killers, where one of the students identified three employees that he planned to kill with another student in the group. Court documents detail text messages among the students discussing plans to, quote, shoot up the school with one of the students claiming dibs on a particular victim. Okay? The students also talked about how much they hated the high school and how they wanted 
everything to go down like that, referring to the Columbine shooting. The text messages in detail uh, detail the plans, the, the plans to use guns and Molotov cocktails for the attack. One student told investigators that one of the students involved had made homemade explosives with gunpowder and carbon dioxide cartridges. He also told investigators that this student had 20 to 30 Molotov cocktails stored under her porch. She's going to do something, the student said. So somebody's a rat. (laughs) Uh Investigators who searched that student's home found explosives, BB pellets, CO2 cartridges, and notebooks explaining how to make bombs. All right, all right. That's it. <laughs> what, what happened? Well, reading? I'm just saying they weren't just watching documentaries. I mean, they, they yes. It's oh, probably- yeah, exactly. I mean, look, man. I mean, to me, I don't know about you, how you grew up in your high school, but I knew kids. In fact, I knew Whoa, whole, several kids, you know, like when I was in high school, yeah. you know, that were, you know, borderline right. this. Um, yeah, I, mean, I knew them too, and I made nothing ever happened, nothing thing. whatever. And again, I graduated high school in the year 2000, so Columbine happened, and I graduated the next year. You know what I mean? There was and always so... the joke in high school where you know if you were like, so there was that kid that you always thought like right. if if anybody was going to do it, it would probably be this guy. Right, right. And people were always like kind of nice to him, and then when he wasn't around, right. they would say, "Yeah, I'm pretty nice to him, so that he doesn't shoot me." Doesn't when he kill me. Yeah, he does. That, then when he comes in, he doesn't kill me. Yeah. You know, a little bit of uh, dark humor. No, but it's true. I mean, but, and so this is not surprising to me. It's, yeah, but I was going to say, hey, you can't arrest these students unless they're serious. Action. Well, supposedly, yeah, they said serious charges. I get that. And uh, you know what the charges are? They had all those guns and illegally. They were, and, you know, like technically. Their students are fucking minors. They can't have those guns. And the parents definitely didn't approve it. But one of the students apparently started ratting out the others. So they were just, you know, like. I don't know if they were actually serious about it because no, I think they were. It's just it got too too real. I mean, the Columbine maybe no, because maybe like what happened was that like you know they were really really about to go through with it, and uh, one of the kids you know just chicken the chicken down and realized you know shit this is but, real. But it's- they said they were planning it for April twentieth two thousand twenty four, like years after they would have graduated, I believe. I mean, listen, man, this is all like a lot of these things are a cry for help. Okay. Correct. That's what, yeah, yeah, if, you're yeah, that's do, okay. if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. That's um, why I was just about to tell you. I was just about to tell you. That's why Columbine, for what it was, um, a travesty. But the fact that two guys I shouldn't even say it, but like, dude, these these two guys, they followed through I don't even want to say it, man, but like yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like they went through. No, until you say it. What you you? I, I shouldn't say it, should I? But they went. Say it. Say it's okay. Say it's okay. We're on a we're on a safe platform. We're protected. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just saying the amount of dedication and darkness that they experienced together, and they were commit committed to a mission, a commitment that not many people feel towards many things, and for something that you know either of them could have foiled each other's plans because they were in it together uh deep i mean deep they were video recording each other preparing and everything else yeah, those, those but, two were seriously best friends as far as i like know you, i mean i haven't like watched a bunch a, of them. yeah it seems like you did your own research on them too huh <laughs> well that's what i'm saying yeah. i don't want these kids to be arrested no but there's yeah, watching but documentaries like, but what happened with these kids you wait, know, let me, before, wait, wait, wait before we move on i'm a student of history and i'm a student of the human condition so you know for me to observe or study any type of documentary or watch on like uh uh, things that culturally move society Uh, that's just a part of who i am jose i'm always gonna have an opinion on that go on yeah so i mean at the end of the day you know the whole idea with uh what's going on there with like the kids you were right you know i mean like if it was just two of them they probably would have been able to pull it off and, um, and the fact three that three of them, three of them, three of them is already kind of pushing it. You know what I mean? Because again, there's still one that can maybe kind of chicken out. You already got like a third wheel, maybe. 
that somebody who and feels four less. Four people. Yeah, you got four people. Uh, yeah, for sure, definitely. You know, that's already too hey, much. Hey, I, mean, I think you're going too far, man. You're like giving advice. I don't. I, I don't not. No, oh, no, I'm not saying I giving advice. Condone. I'm just telling you, like human nature. I'm talking about secrets and all this other shit. You know what I mean? And uh, and just the fact that, like, you know, to find like that, like uh, that many like-minded individuals that are that focused on that one thing, right. it's it, very it, you rare. Know what, you know what? The you thought that comes to mind, no. which I'm not going to say, but um, I'll say it to a different topic. It's like if you're at a kitchen and there's just too many cooks. Exactly. But it's not, not many, related to no, this. You're right. You're right. But it's right. many things like that. And so two people could do it. You know what I mean, it's basically a one man job. You know, two Whoa. people. Could... No, because we've seen it from the past, you know, from Correct. all the that's other. Why, that's why I would say all that. The other shooters usually work in pairs or by themselves. Right. That, and that's what I was going to say is that Columbine was, impre- was a travesty, but. But again, it was a CIA psyop. You yeah, know, yeah, probably. But I'm just saying the fact it. that there was two of them. All these other, all these other ones that happen, not impressive, not and not that the other ones are impressive, but you know, like um, I'm just saying. But yeah, man, this whole thing is a CIA psyop. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to say anymore. Just to start getting a bunch of motherfuckers out there to start doing this thing, copycat, train it, you know, whatever, uh, repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, and it was all to get gun control. You know what I mean? Right. Simple as that. But yeah, the lone wolves. You know, nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's, there's nothing unique about it. But Columbine. Really, I mean, look at these kids, dude. They're talking about Columbine, um, and they're like, how old were they? Like fifteen? Like, oh, well, it is. It must be pushed by the government. These fifteen-year-olds must be being fed Columbine story. No, man. Like, I think that honestly, these kids, the ones that from this story, um, they could have very easily just been, you know, kids that were really going to do this and we're really into it. But I think it was just more like cry for help. We're planning and we want to do it. We wanted this, but it was more like, again, if they were that one, if they already had a date and it was 2024 and that whole thing, I mean, basically they were probably not going to do it. You know what I mean? It was all just like, Hey, we're going to play this whole thing. We're going to tell all the other kids that we're going to do this so they don't bully us and I can go on and on. And it was kind of like a dick showing contest. That's why the one guy started building Molotov cocktails and he was trying to show all the other you, got uh, it. you know, his friends, his friend group, these four kids, he was trying to show them that he was more serious than the others. But for one of them to talk to an investigator, I don't know. I mean, he must, one of them must, no, I think that, must that, that, have that got scared. Shit. No, the guy that talked to the investigator just probably got, they got too real for him. You know what I mean? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's all, you know, <laughs> just got scared. <laughs> You know, if you, if you had like, you remember your core group of like four friends from high school or whatever, you remember though, there was always that one that was, you know, the chicken shit, the one that was going to fuck it up, the one that was going to, yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Yes and if yes. you don't know who that was, it was you. Exactly. <laughs> Clay Howell yeah. commenting on this, saying, yeah, giving advice. I'm not trying to. But look, uh, OP wait, 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 dude, it is, it is important for us to end that conversation with a do not condone. Speak yes, out. we do not condone any of these things. No, Don't condone no. listening to us either. Opie has a question for like half an hour and you have to refuse to fucking answer it. Oh, really? What? Even a quiet, even. Question for Bob and to, Jose. Would you vote for Trump over him. Ron Paul? Yeah, so I said, would you vote for Trump or Ron Paul? Trump or Paul? Ron Paul. I guess I would have to say Ron Paul just for something new and interesting. But if I mean, if I had to pick somebody, I. I mean, honestly, if I got to be frank with you, if Trump came out in 2024 and said he was running, and then Ron Paul came out in 2024 and said he was running, I think you know where I'd be. Trump. Yeah, I'd probably be over there with Trump. No, I would vote for Paul because, well, he promised for years and decades and everything about, you know, uh, shutting down the Fed. Federal Reserve. I know. know, Yeah, all these things. And so, you know what? Fuck it. You know what I mean? Again, we're, we're, hold on, hold on. I got to, and you know, fuck it. We are in, we're in clown world. So might as well fucking vote for this guy because, you know, at least. Oh, man, people don't come to us for political advice. It's like Rye 87. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, it's like coming to us for fucking, uh, you know, fix your car advice. (laughs) Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? You know, we're too fucking, you you know, know, hairless. We're two hairless beavers in the middle of the desert drinking boba tea. And you're asking us how to fix your car or or politics. 
But anyways, if I were in the U.S. and voting, I would probably vote for Paul only because, you know, just to see, put his money where his mouth is, to see what's up, you know what I mean? To see if he's actually going to, you know, uh, shut down the Fed and do all these other things, or if he's going to do like every other politician, which is, you know, toe the line. Right. Rye87, nice cat jam, like, uh, and nice other emotions. Like, okay, he goes, I ain't talking. Okay, Ryan in the chat and t- Twitch is saying, mistimed soundboard, shaking my head. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, a sound We got guy. a feisty one out in the chat. <laughs> Anyways, you don't have opposing, you don't have opposable thumbs. Yeah, so what are you, opposable thumb racist or something? Listen, man. We, um, you know, we um, are supported by, you know, the, the LGBTQWXYZ flag or something. Okay. We're actually O, okay. N O, you know, non opposable thumb people. All right. Was, <laughs> move it on. We're hairless beavers. Okay. Um, I don't know what letter that would be. All right. But we look at me. I'm drinking boba tea. Hey, wait, look at my glasses. Your, look at my hat. I am very Jose. gay. Don't attack the commenter. Let's just move on. I'm not attacking him. I'm just letting him know. I'm gay. <laughs> and I drink boba tea. So he goes, he doesn't he doesn't think people with no opposing thumbs have should have rights. Look at this guy. Look at this racist. We get a racist in our midst. So this guy is uh, a racist against non-opposable thumb people. He goes, you ain't got no teeth. We do have teeth. It's just you can't see them. You can't see the teeth because uh, we actually got surgery so you can't see our teeth because we're actually self-conscious about our teeth and so that's why we choose to hide them behind our gums but anyways this is why it's a good lesson um for everybody out there you gotta go to the dentist otherwise you'll end up like us that's right that's right but um as as for the opposable thumbs we don't need no damn opposable thumbs okay look i can wave all right i can drink my bubble tea all right, I don't kind need of. no opposable thumbs. Okay, all right. I don't know about you. All right, all right you can, boys, you can be racist all you want, all but right, you know all right, all right. No, no, hold on. I got something to say. I got something to say. <laughs> you you know what? Bad, you know he might be racist towards me, but guess, guess who is on the board of Twitter, motherfuckers? All right, guess. It's not me, but my cousin. My cousin. He knows the guy that's on the board of Twitter. Okay. All right. And that's, that's a lot closer than you. All right. And I don't know what that means because hey, you probably don't even uh, have a Twitter account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scooter and Ryan and <laughs> Pedro and Opie and Lodak and everybody else in the chat. I saw Cody came through. You guys are awesome. And thanks for checking us out. We'll be back. Thursday. Wait, where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. We can't leave. 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, all the way for two hours. This is it. No, it's not two hours. It says one hour and 58 minutes over here. That means we got. Okay, well, what do you have? The, least, what do you have for the last minute? You got any news for us? I do. Last? I'm fighting with a Ryan eighty seven, which I'm guessing he is thirty something years old, right? Eighty seven. That means Why he was born in eighty seven. Ryan, dude? I'm not fighting with him. I'm having a conversation. He says to stop drinking pina coladas. I'm not drinking pina coladas. I'm drinking. I already told. If you were listening to the beginning of the show, I told you this is a, a diarrhea milkshake that looks like boba tea. I found some. Um, Whoppers, the candy. Anyone knows of the Whoppers? You know, like a, a old Whopper box in the in the trash that somebody left there um, and pissed on. And I, I put that in this cup, and um, and then there was some diarrhea involved. And uh, this is why I got this bubble right, tea. Right, right, right. I don't no, drink. No, no, I don't no, drink no, no, pina coladas. I'm I'm done. I don't drink pina coladas. I just don't. Tuesday, Thursday nights, nine p.m. <laughs> Eastern, eight p.m. Central. And we are live on Twitch randomly on the weekends. Be sure to follow for some gaming. Check out the VODs on Twitch if you want to see that from the last weekend. And we'll fix the frame rates. But By the uh, way, I, I, uh, I, game, I game on my BlackBerry. YouTube, Twitch, DLive. Thank you. And see you Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Thanks again, guys. Talk to you then. Bye. Get Paul's back, back again. Trump is back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Bing 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 bing. Oh, create a monster.
imposter. Cause nobody wants to see Biden no more. They want Trump. I'm John Liver. Well, if you want Trump, this is what I'll give you. A little bit of weed mixed with some hard liquor. Some vodka that'll jumpstart my heart quicker than a shot when I get shot at the hospital by the doctor. When I'm not cooperating. When I'm rocking the table while well, he's operating. Uh, you waited as long, now stop debating. Cause I'm back, I'm on the bread and I'm ovulating. I know that you got a job, Miss Pelosi, but your husband's heart problem's complicating. So the FCC won't let me be, or let me be me, so let me see. They try to shut me down on my Twitter, but it feels so empty without me, so...